Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. Today we're going to be talking about pumpkins. It's Halloween season, baby. Mm -hmm. Where's this pumpkin stuff from, bro? Lakefront Brewery Imperial Pumpkin Ale. Boom, we're talking about a beer, baby. Boom. Just happened. <laughs> Let's test it. Test it! All right, Bruno. It's Halloween season. First of all, do you like the shirt? That dude is the goofiest shirt. It's scary. It's You're got 44. a giant eye. I know. Yeah, okay, there is an eye. It's like it's an Asian look at this. Yeah, look eye at this thing. From Lord of the Rings, but other look how than it that, reflects off. It's not suitable that. for a forty-year-old. <laughs> it's silk. It's like silk imprinting. What are you wearing? You have Nike. That's like you like you're some kind of track runner that. and star. Mama Locus. <laughs> An Mama Asian Locus. infusion? When you thought, Go back and watch Mama Locus if you don't you know what You thought an about. Asian shirt went with Mexican food. Well, it looks spicy. It looks hot. It looks like hot salsa. Dude, and this, that, is that scary eye is like Sauron, dude. I dare you to wear that in public. I'll wear it. I want you to go to the mall. I wear it. Uh, uh, I almost had Spears 56. Is that right? Oh, yeah. He almost got me a little skirt. <gasps> am I a cross dresser? No, that. I am not. Gonna, that's coming up. <laughs> I don't think anybody ordered it. Did somebody order it? No, but we, we will find it. The, the challenge was we had a photo on Twitter. Mm. Uh, go look at our Twitter. Just go look at our Twitter. Follow us on Twitter. Send them there. We're not, okay. we've teased it. If you want to know more, go look at our photos on Twitter and you'll see a skirt, which dare I say, at at. Yes. Bingo, baby. I've reached now, across the shelf. Now, my hoodie. I don't know. Are you some kind of track star? You got to be like showing out your Nike. Now you're like the Unabomber. <laughs> what are you doing? You are... Are you the Unabomber? Do you know something about bombs that I should know about? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Let's talk about pumpkins. And I do like to say pumpkin. Pumpkin. First of all, what is your favorite Halloween story thing about the season? I love fall, okay. by the way. Well, okay. Let me, Halloween. 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 Halloween is Halloween. a scary time of year. Not it's for me. when the ghosts and the goblins come out. Nope. Yes. For me? It's when we scare little kids. <laughs> so you believe in the trick part rather than the treat. For me, it's all about the treat, baby. Now, I will say real quick, I've seen my kids. They've gotten older. And it was funny. When, they're, when the kids are little, of course, they are all into the costume. They're into trick. All right. Pause. Who'd you dress up as when you were a kid? Oh, wow. Come on. Um, I, was I know. I'm solo. just trying to remember. I'm I was sure. Han Solo three years running. Mom sewed together a Han Solo outfit, and I had the Han Solo gun. I loved it. You know, as a kid, a small kid, I can't remember. I can remember in middle school and high school when we had Halloween days dressing up. All right. But the, only, the only sad part I, I had. As a kid, I really don't remember. I was like 12. Would you say 12 still trick-or-treating age? That's right there when my uh, oldest quit trick-or-treating. Okay. Well, I was maybe either either 11 or 12 was the last You know year why I quit? For trick-or-treating. I knock on a door. An old lady answers the door and says, You're too old to be trick-or-treating. I'm 13, but I got the body of a giant. Yeah, okay? you were probably like six foot four. <laughs> I think I was maybe 5'10". <laughs> <laughs> and I'm thinking, what? I mean, but as a kid, I'm like, what do you mean? And she kind of wrecked it. And then for some reason, I became self-conscious at that point. I quit trick-or-treating. <laughs> mean old lady. I should have tricked you. I don't care now. I don't get self-conscious about anything. Huh. Anything. Especially my shirt. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You should be. I don't know. Yeah. I'm if immune to it, baby. Peer pressure means nothing to me. Nothing. Sorry. Do you have any other stories about you in person? What did you dress up as when you were a kid? You know, I can't remember. I'm sure there would have been some Star Wars. I know there would have had to have been. Princess Leia? Yeah, maybe. You had your hair uh -huh. all spun up. Uh -huh. An Ewok? Yeah. <laughs> I can see as an Ewok. Uh -huh. You'd be a little, maybe Yoda. <laughs> You're in the green, Yoda. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, we drink pumpkin ale, we shall. Yes. All right. Trick Let's try trick. this. Let's try All right. Uh, Imperial pumpkin. Now, this is actually the first pumpkin. I know that the pumpkin ales that come in, they're real seasonal. They're real big this year. Pumpkin and everything. There's pumpkin spice lattes. There's pumpkin <laughs> pies, pumpkin burgers. That's every season. There's pumpkin pu- burgers. Yeah, it's out there. It's crazy. People are calling for the end of the pumpkin stuff. It's like a pumpkin apocalypse. And actually, I have not had a pumpkin spice latte yet, but maybe I'll try one. Okay. So yeah. anyway, uh, go to me and my nephew was in, uh, we're, we're, and he's old enough, trust me. Yeah, he's uh, like he's 32. He's 28, I think, okay. somewhere in that range. He's a big fella. Um, he's strong. Anyway, uh, we're in the, the world of beers the other day. And we're looking, he's looking, and he's made his own. He makes his own home brew. We've got we'll try this, this later. A, this his like home brewed pumpkin beer. Can I taste it? Um, he says it won't be near what this lakefront brewery uh, Imperial Pumpkin is. Now, let me uh, preface. As we're in uh, the, the ale, the beer, the world of beers the other day, hmm. there's another shopper in there, and he points out, and he says, Ooh. hey, this Imperial Pumpkin is the best pumpkin uh, one by far. I said, okay, well, I'll get a four-pack of it. We'll try it. As we're checking out, the clerk says that's the best pumpkin ale there is. I can I'm tell like, you you're why. the second one. Have you had this? Yes. Okay. I tried one the other day. First of all, it does have a spicy scent to it. Mm-hmm. When you get it in your mouth, it almost has a mouth feel of, and call me crazy, but it has a slight scotch mouth feel. That is, this is aged in brandy barrels. Okay. Yeah, because I was surprised there. Usually it just gives mm-hmm. you a, a, a beer, but this had a like a mouth feel, a coating of, of a scotch almost. Yes, now there are some scotches that are aged in sherry or brandy barrels, and you'll get some of that. Uh, what you do is real heavy on the taste is that brandy, and after mm-hmm. you drink it, then you start to get the pumpkin spices. Yes. Yeah. I, when you told me you were bringing over a pumpkin ale, I was thinking, oh, God, what is this going to be? Mm-hmm. But uh, and it's much more on a brandy. Yeah, it's a very uh, thick mouth uh-huh. feel. Yeah, heavy mouth feel ale. to it, which was immediately made me think of scotch. And it's a little bit. It's a nine and nine and a half percent alcohol, so it's not a little too bit sweet. I actually no. expected this to be very sweet. I I will tell you this. I don't think I've ever had a pumpkin mm-hmm. anything. Uh, this was my first one, okay. and I was hesitant. I really wasn't shopping for a pumpkin ale. Hmm. Pumpkin. I wasn't shopping for a pumpkin ale. That's the best way to say it. All I ever say is pumpkin. Uh, I dropped a P. Tis the season. Yeah, to say pumpkin. It just makes it sound friendly and cuddly. So. You okay? I tried it the other day. Same. I was impressed with it. You got that brandy taste. You got the pumpkin taste. It's not sweet. And I haven't tried it. I haven't been into those, the apple cider stuff. I'm not into the sweet stuff. I hadn't tried any of the pumpkin ales. No, sort uh, of like a hard lemonade seems, or something. It, yeah, it seems like a uh, marketing. Uh, you know what this goes well with? My shirt. Kids on skateboards. <laughs> it may be like cosplay, a little cosplay shirt. All right, well, let's try. My nephew sent one down. This is his homemade. Uh, pumpkin. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, I'm going to Now, he did tell this. me. He told me it's going to be a lot lighter than well, this. I'm he doesn't have it. So, think of this. This is just a homebrew. What people can do. I'm going to do a head to head. I'm going to knock your nephew in the dirt. Michael. Michael. You're going down. I'm dude. comparing you against uh, an Imperial pumpkin. First of all, notice the difference in color. Yeah. That's one thing with that Imperial. Yes. It is a very it's got as a, a nice sherry color. color to it. Yes, this it's is sh- much more of a Pilsner type color. Yeah, he said this would be a little bit lighter. He said his is probably five to six percent. Now alcohol. he really did make this. Yeah, he made this. Okay, uh, he's so he's a home into, brewer. Yeah. All right, that's a cool brewery. nerd thing all in of itself. So yeah, I mean, I'm not really different. Yeah, I'm they, not really all the different it. hops and the different sure. Uh, I'm not looking to compare Barley's and stuff to use. This is crazy, though, I know, dude. I like Look the at color. that. Even the color brings on mm-hmm. jack o' lantern. All right, let's taste Michael's. Mm. It smells like a beer. Yeah. Mmm. It's definitely lighter. Yeah, it's a lighter. Um, it has a pilsner. Pilsner flavor with a slight hint of the pumpkin. Just a slight bit using the pumpkin spices during mm-hmm. the process there when they use them. That's a good, that's actually a good. Yeah, that's like a, um, that's good. Mm-hmm. That's a Pilsner to me, a yeah. Pilsner light with a pumpkin hint. 
to it. Would you agree? Yeah. I mean, yep. if, all right. He did. I mean, that's still good for no, a home for a home brew. Phenomenal, that's phenomenal home brew. Way to go. And I mean, he's just he's only been doing it for a couple of years now. Sure. So he's just getting started. He did good. I would imagine how. You said this is aged in, is this in a brandy barrel? Brandy barrels, yes. All right, the brandy barrel is going to knock this thing out of the park. Yeah. And that's what you get immediately mm -hmm. on the tongue and in the mouth is the brandy. And after you swallow it and you got it down, then you start to get the yeah, this, this is shocking. This almost doesn't <laughs> taste like a beer to me. No, uh -uh. not at all. It's a fruity, fruity, scotchy mouth feel. Wow. And then the color screams out. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. <laughs> Pumpkin. All right. Um, scotch test dummies. Anything else? What do we? What do we? What do we start off time? Oh, Halloween. What else? Halloween. Scary movies. But scary board games. Ugh. There's this. No, there's well, yeah, a game dude. called House on the Hill. It's phenomenal. What's your scariest movie? Movies never. Well, they generally don't scare me because I'm like ass eh, fake. I haven't actually watched any for a few years. I used to sit up and watch them. But trying to get scared. I, um, I would take out the new, the bad the guy new is. Uh, commercial. There's a new commercial out. I think it's for a car company, and yeah. some kids are running. Oh, I love that commercial. Yeah. They're like, well, should we the go attic. to the attic no, or the basement? Hide in the basement. And the girl goes, "What about that car why that's we get running the car over that's there? Running. That's Let's running. Get it. Like, and then no, they say, hide behind the chainsaw. Hide behind those hanging chainsaw. And the bad guy's <laughs> right is there. Good. He's looking, and he's like, "Yeah, he's like idiots." He's he like idiots. puts up his like Jason hockey mask <laughs> and is like dummies. I don't then, know what the commercial. Yeah, I don't. I don't even know what they're selling. But then you hear like, you hear the chainsaw running. You're like, they're getting killed. Good point. Lakefront Brewery Imperial Pumpkin Salancha Ale. Pumpkin lovers, cheers. Bye bye.